We are now going to have a look at some of the key formatting related operators which are widely used in numerical scripting language. Adding comments in the script is essential for better understanding it. A good comment can also help reduce the time for modifying the script in the future. In numerical script, a comment begins with the hash symbol and ends when a new line starts. You can also use keyboard shortcuts Ctrl R to comment and Ctrl T to uncomment. For multiple line comments, you just need to add the hash symbol for every comment line by manually entering them or by first selecting the lines and pressing Ctrl R. It can also be placed after an executable script command. For any script to work, it should end with a semicolon. It's okay to leave out the semicolon in the script prompt where the semicolon will be automatically added when missing. However, this will cause an error when used in the script file editor in a file. Blank lines, space, and tab are ignored in the script. So the following script in three lines is interpreted in the same way as this one in a single line. In many cases, it might be necessary to print out the results on screen for testing and debugging purposes. To do that, simply add a question mark symbol at the start of the script line. If you want to make the script more readable and understandable by using indentations, use Control right square bracket keyboard shortcut to add four spaces to the current line or all selected lines. To remove the indentation, use Control left square bracket instead. A smart indent, Control i will smart indent all selected lines or the entire document if nothing is selected. For selected lines, it will first round the first non-white space line to the nearest in integer multiple of four spaces, then begin the indent from there. When applying the smart indent to the entire document, it will remove all leading white spaces on the first non-white space line and then continue from there using a four space indent. The above features are also available in the context menu when you right click your mouse in the script file editor.